Okay, today we're taking a look at a bike from a company called ActBest. This is the Night City Cruiser and it's a foldable 20 by four inch fat tire e-bike. We are going to take it through some of these trails. We'll put it through its paces. We'll show you what this bike has to offer. And if you're interested in purchasing one for yourself, there'll be links in the description for you to do so. So uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it. Okay, we are rocking the Night City Cruiser by ActBass. Let's get down here to some flat ground and pedal this baby like a regular pedal bike. Let's see what it's got. Here, seven. And uh, we're doing uh, 13, 14 miles an hour. And uh, yeah, smooth sailing. You'll be able to get this one up, uh, up some slight inclines pretty easy. I'm going up one right now, maintaining about eight miles an hour. And I'm in uh, gear one. Come out onto the main road here and we'll uh, switch it into pedal assist level one. So here we go. Let's get a feel for this bike. My first impression is it doesn't feel rickety. This feels solid. Now I am in gear seven, pedal assist level three, and I'm uh, starting to ghost pedal here. So it looks like when you get up to that 20 mile an hour mark, you're gonna out pedal the bike. Now I'm going up a slight incline and I can feel my feet helping the motor out. And that's in pedal assist level three. So for a foldable bike, this thing is uh, pretty darn stable. Tires feel really soft too. So I think they really help with the um, suspension of this bike. Let's go ahead and pull over and I'll show you what this bike looks like. Okay, there it is. The Act Best Night City Cruiser. And uh, it's a sharp looking bike. For a foldable bike, it has a nice stable frame to it, I feel like, so that's good. These tires are real soft too. I'm afraid to skid on them, but they feel really good when you're riding. We're keeping the bike the way it is out of the box. We didn't do anything to it, except for add a side mirror for safety when we're riding and a cell phone mount. Have my camera on the back here with a bungee cord, but that's it. Um, we wanna keep the bike the way it is out of the box and test it, and then we'll always uh, customize and change settings later. So this is the bike out of the box. Let's go ahead and get up the road here. The tires feel soft, and uh, I feel like it really helps the suspension. Coming on your left here, So let's pull over and take a look at some of the specs on this bike. The bike's gonna come in two colors, gray and black. The recommended rider height is gonna be between 5'4 and 6'5. The battery is gonna be nested in the top of the down tube. It's 48 volt with 15 amp hours and UL certified. This bike can tow around some serious weight with a payload capacity of 350 pounds. The weight on this bike is 69.4 pounds. It ships as a class three e-bike, which means it goes quicker than 20 miles per hour out of the box. You can expect a charge time of three to five hours with the 48 volt, three amp hour charger. You're gonna get where you're going pretty quick with this uh, 750 watt brushless gear hub motor. It's always nice to see a quality control inspection sticker on a hub motor. So you'll probably enjoy off-road riding with these Chow Yang 20 by four inch knobby tires. That thread looks pretty aggressive for some off-roading. So I'm excited to get some distance on this bike. Ekbest says you're gonna get 65 miles of range with pedal assist. Now I'm guessing that's gonna be on pedal assist level one on flat ground with a 140 pound person. 65 miles is a huge distance. Mechanical disc brakes with 160 millimeter rotors. So this bike comes with hydraulic front forks with preload adjustment. And if you're riding on flat, hard surfaces, you can also lock it out. There's a pretty heavy duty rear rack on this bike and it'll carry 120 pounds. 28 miles per hour out of the box, which makes it a class three e-bike. So your rear tail light is also a brake light. A very bright integrated front headlight. I like that they didn't just stuff some stuffing in the seat. 
There's like a memory foam and it feels really comfortable when you're riding it. So to power the bike on, you just hold down the power button. It has a really cool color display. You're gonna have five levels of pedal assist, one through five. You'll see things like your trip, odometer, max speed, average speed, pedal assist level, and current speed. You'll have your front headlight, which will indicate with a little light up top and your display dims, your horn, a USB charger right here on the bike. So your battery can be charged on or off the bike. To charge the battery on the bike, you're gonna just pop this open and you have a little charging port right there. To remove the battery, you're just gonna insert your key, pop the battery out. It's as simple as that. There's also a little indicator up at the top here to show you the battery strength. Then you're gonna simply just push your battery back in let it latch right back into place. Simple as that. So the fenders are plastic on the front and back, and they do come standard on the bike. It's always nice when a bike has a walking mode. So basically you just hold the down button and the bike will switch into a walking mode, just like that. We got some metal pedals with reflectors, a double-sided chain guard, that's always nice. A Shimano Tourney derailleur. Also, a derailleur guard, which is really nice because these bikes tend to get beaten up when they get folded down. Twist throttle with a seven speed Shimano shifter. Placement of the kickstand is good as well because it's far enough back that the pedals don't catch it. If there are specs or features that I didn't mention here today that interest you, check out the ActBest website for more detailed information. Let's go ahead and get back on the road. So throttle only test zero to 20, uh, let's do it. Here we go. 10 miles an hour, 15, 18, 9, 20, 10 seconds. It took us 10 seconds to get to 20 miles an hour. That's really good. Let's go ahead and uh, test that out again, 13, 16 miles an hour, 17, 19, 20. So uh, 10 seconds. 10 seconds to get to uh, 20 miles per hour. Okay, I wanna see what our um, GPS says we're doing. So the uh, bike's reading 10, GPS is 10, 15, 15. Let's get it steady here. 19, 20, 20, 20. 21, 21, 22, 22, so uh, 23, 23. So the bike is doing what the GPS says it's doing, so that's pretty good. We're gonna do a brake test. We're gonna see how this bike brakes at 20 miles per hour and uh, get an idea how it feels. Okay, here we go. Let's get it to 20. There's 20 miles an hour right here. That's, uh, that's pretty good. These are mechanical disc brakes with 160 millimeter rotors, so I thought we'd be skidding a little bit further than that. Let's go ahead and give it another shot. 16, there's our 20 right there. <laughs> you know, I tried leaning back on it that time a little bit. 18, 20 miles per hour right here. We're at 20. Pretty good. Yeah, so we're really going about uh, two and a half parking spots. For mechanical disc brakes with 160 millimeter rotors, I'm pretty happy with that. 20 mile per hour speed test. Now I am not a brake expert, mechanic or anything. Just uh, showing you my experience of riding this bike. Let's uh, let's get more runway and let's give it all it's got. 22, 24, 25. 25 miles per hour, not bad. You know, for mechanical disc brakes, the bike's doing what it needs to do. 23, 
24, 25. Okay. Pleased with that. That's where we're at, folks. Look at that bike. This is a cool looking bike and it really doesn't look like a foldable bike that much. The handlebars give it away more than the, um, the latch because it kind of blends in depending on where you're standing. Over here it kind of blends in a little bit more. But I would say the handlebars give it away that it's a foldable bike more than anything. We're going to show you how simple it is to fold this bike down. Just going to lift your kickstand up. Pull back on your safety and open the latch. And then you're just going to fold the bike in half. The next step is release the safety on the handlebars and drop that down as well. Simple as that. So on this bike, there's no throttle on pedal assist level zero. We're gonna do pedal assist level one through five and see how quick we can get this bike going. So uh, here we go. In uh, pedal assist level one, we're doing uh, 11 miles an hour, 12. In two, we're doing uh, 15, 16. In three, we're doing uh, 18, 19, and four, we're doing 20, 21, 22, and then five, we're doing 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Wow, 30 miles an hour, 30.3. That, uh, that was really good. 30.3 miles per hour was our top speed. <laughs> this bike can cruise. I don't think I want a foldable bike to go quicker than that. At least we can get out of the way when we need to. So we have five different pedal assist levels and the bike is gonna go a different speed in each pedal assist level, throttle only. Throttle only, pedal assist level one, we're doing uh, 12 miles, 12 and a half miles per hour. Level two, we're doing uh, 14, 15. Level three, 16, 17, 18. Level four, 19, 21, 22. And then five, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 29 miles an hour. And I gotta stop there, we got a red light. That was great. 29 miles per hour, throttle only, and I'm uh, 255 pounds, 5'11". So uh, this little bike is doing its job. Let's take this bike off road. This bike just uh, bounces over some of these decent sized logs like they're nothing. Let's go this way. The bike handles well. And uh, on this bumpy, 
rooted trail, these tires really absorb a lot of that impact. But yeah, we're cruising along here. Definitely need to uh, adjust these brakes, but I've been pretty rough on them. For a foldable bike, this thing handles really good. I'm impressed. We beat this bike up pretty hard. And we continue to. So at the end of the day, this bike, um, I beat the heck out of it. I really did. I, uh, I took this thing off-road pretty hard. It held up. The uh, front suspension held up really well. And uh, I feel like I didn't feel it bottom out. So a lot of times on these uh, foldable bikes, the handlebars will have a lot of movement. These are really tight. There's no movement on them, so they're really solid. And that's one of the things that are really important because you're riding a foldable bike. Let me drop that pedal assist level down, get to a more comfortable speed. Got our little horn. <laughs> I think when I was a kid, I had a horn like that. Solid, and it's gonna be fun. And I like the fact that it's gonna be portable. I'll tell you that, um, being able to just fold your bike down and take it where you wanna go, there's something to be said about that. And having a bike that doesn't feel all rickety that you're doing that with, um, will make it even better. Hello, how you doing? So a couple upgrades that would be nice to see on this bike in the future would be hydraulic disc brakes, 180 millimeter rotors, and uh, maybe some BMX style handlebars. That would be really cool. Foldable BMX style handlebars on a foldable bike. So the seat is really comfortable. The bike handles well, it turns well. The knobby tires, man, they just held up great on the off-road. Overall, I'm impressed with the bike and uh, it's gonna be great to take places. So if you're interested in purchasing this bike, there'll be links in the description for you to do so. So uh, thanks for watching and like always, ride safe, have fun. See ya.